how do you keep in touch with clients? How do you keep them apprised of what's happening with their investments and whether maybe a rebalance or a change is, is in order? Well, I think people would be surprised to know that probably the biggest problem, uh, the biggest reason that clients do, are not, do not have a good investment experience is because they make emotional decisions and they sell when stocks go down, for example, and they buy when stocks go up. So uh, buying high and selling low is not a successful investment strategy, and nobody would ever choose to do something like that. But yet they do choose it unconsciously because they let uh, the media or whatever's happening, the crisis of the day, and there always seems to be some crisis that uh, we shouldn't be investing in. So they're in and out of stocks, and they come up with this... Uh, crazy notion that in order to be successful, I have to be in at the right times and out at the wrong times. So communication, we have found to be one of our greatest assets because what we do with clients uh, once is to review with them on a regular basis, and by that, every three months, we do a review, which is reviewing the performance, how's your portfolio performing, what's going on in your financial life, what do we need to do for taxes, and so forth, things that you would normally expect in a review, but we also reinforce the strategy. We have a strategy for when stocks go down. We don't know when that's going to happen, and that's okay. Don't expect us to be able to, to get you out before the market goes down because nobody can do that. But when the market does go down, we're going to rebalance and take advantage of the low stock prices because in the long run, stock prices, the uptrends have been permanent and the downtrends have been just temporary. We also then, to, in order to reinforce that, is have seminars periodically where, again, we reinforce the strategy. So it's a constant message that they're hearing that there is a strategy in place that we expect stocks to go down and that's okay and uh, when it does we have a strategy for taking advantage of that so that they don't panic in 2008 when it looks like the world is coming to an end and now we find out that oh, once again the, the end of the world was averted <laughs> it didn't end right. and and only the people that lost in 2008 were the people that sold when the market went down and now they're sitting there in cash waiting for the right time to get back in and there never is going to be an uh, uh, alarm that goes off and says, okay, now it's time to get back in. 